hey it's time to get that grill looking good this is my gas grill and I'm sure it looks like everybody else's and if you can see there's lots of grime where does it come from mostly barbecue sauce time to clean this whole grill up I'm gonna set my timer and give you the full total time I'm gonna go the grates I'm gonna clean the grates it'll be real easy the covers that block grease from hitting your uh, propane flame the grill underneath the drip pan and the whole bit and this grill will be looking good as new or as close to it as I can get you know it's not gonna look perfect but it's gonna be a whole lot better I have got this attachment right here and I bought this at Home Depot goes in any drill cost me seven dollars it's the only way to go period uh, I'm going to take and spray a little apple juice on it, or not apple juice, excuse me, uh, vinegar, white vinegar. I'll spray it on there, let it set for five minutes and kind of let it break down. I don't really think I need to do that, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So anyway, let's get started. I have tried onion. I have tried taking the grates and putting it in baking soda. I have rolled up foil, I've done all of that, and nothing even comes close to this brush. It is a metal break, you know, they talk about the uh, gr cleaning your grill with the metal brush. When I get done, I take it in the sink and give it a good rinse so none of that's there, just to make double sure and be real safe. I uh, couldn't find my safety goggles, so I'm wearing my trusty sunglasses. So I'll look like a real badass when I'm cleaning this. <laughs> so, here we go. go looking a lot better now I haven't done the top I'm gonna to do the top I'm not gonna bother videoing this and I'm gonna flip these grates upside down and I'm gonna catch that and I think it's only been three and a half minutes as you can see I took and since I am gonna do the rest of the barbecue I was gonna wash this off I thought I'll just take and let it soak in some soapy water and real hot water as hot as it can get and then uh, I'll clean all that up and the finishing touch we'll just take and rinse this off put it back on and I'll show you the finished product let's get on with the rest of the grill okay I've just got a putty knife and as you can see I do this all the time just give it a quick little scrape and get all that stuff off do the bottom really doesn't matter I'm gonna set it down just like that got four of them okay now the next item that I'm gonna do is a big drip pan that goes underneath okay it is very very important to clean not once a year I would do it a couple three times a year okay Simple fact, your grill is going to catch fire, and I've had it happen, okay? Just like that. It's so easy. They're done. Here's the drip pan, okay? Just like this. All that, maybe you use wood chips and just scoop it, and it comes off really super easy. But if it flames up, you got problems because I... There's some peanuts in there. <laughs> I had peanuts and I put them away so the birds wouldn't eat them. The squirrels, went, they knew right exactly where they were at. 
So anyway, I'll just give that a quick scrape. It doesn't have to be real pretty, okay? And uh, I'm almost there. Now all I've got to do is go in, give my... Uh, Give my grill that's sitting in the sink a quick rinse. Put this all back in together, and I'll show you the finished product. Here's the finished product. I got to admit, that top rack, if you watch my videos, I do a lot of cooking on the top. I don't very rarely ever cook on the bottom rack. But it's all cleaned up. If you can look over on the very side... Uh, I didn't hit that very well with the brush right there, okay? Not grilling there anyway. This grill looks like 100% better. So anyway, happy grilling and uh, check out my videos. I got some really good uh, barbecue recipes coming. Okay, thanks for watching.